All right, what is up, boys? It is PDS. Today, I'm joined by my friend Doom. He just got plat one with his Earth Machine deck. How are you doing, Doom? I'm doing good. All right, so can you tell us a little bit about this deck and what makes it so good? Well, the deck, it's very interesting. There's a lot of, like, combos that you can play with the deck, and a lot of times your opponent does, don't know really know what you're doing and what your cards do, so they misplay often. So, all right, so just take us through card for cards, see what each card all is. Right. So first card is uh, Inferno Track Harvester. He's a level two. He's your normal summon. When he's normal or special, you add any Inferno Track monster from the deck to hand. And his other effect is uh, you can target another machine type monster you control and combine the level of this card and the card you can, the other card, and then both monster becomes that level. So so you can combine two with with ten, and you can make twelve for Zeus if you have the UR for Zeus. You can use 2 and 7 to make rank 9. It's pretty strong because it can blow up the field. Other than that, it's just a good normal summon because he gets you to your dozer, which is your one card combo. So he's one of the cards that you get to your one card combo. A uh, box, we use box for a ballista, but we can go over that later. Anchor drill is your, I guess, goblin birth. Uh, when he's normal or special, he can special summon an earth machine from your hand. He also have the effect where he can combine the levels of two monsters. Then there's Trencher. He can specialism himself by tripping Earth Machine. But the main part of him is that when he's in Graveyard, you can banish him to target a level 5 or lower Earth Runner Track and special summon that monster defense. Then there's the Tunneler, which is the Avarice. He can target in the Graveyard, you can banish him, target five Earth Machines, and then draw the card. And then there's Brutal Dozer, which is your combo. You have many ways to get your Brutal Dozer. He can special summon himself by tripping an Earth Machine. And when he special summon from the hand, you can special summon one Fur Track monster from your deck. And you can do a lot of combos that way. And to get him to your hand, you have a Harvester, and then you have the Machina Metal Cruncher. When you control no cards in the field, you can normal summon this card while tribute. And then you can reveal three Earth Machines and add one of them randomly. So, so you just reveal normally, the same one three times, right? Yeah, yeah. You can reveal three Dozer. Like if you have no other uh, like combo in your hand, you can just reveal three Dozer. And then you can go off that way. So I can tell you guys the combo a little bit later. We have three Metal Crunchers. We have three Machina Redeployment, which can search Metal Cruncher. And then we have three uh, Harvester, along with three Heavy Forward, which would also search Harvester. So we have 12 ways to start our uh, one card combo. And then we have Derecrate. It's just a good generic Earth Machine monster where if you summon any Earth Machine, you can just summon him from hand. He's level 10, so you can make a rank 10s that way. And also he's just yeah, a, another body, so you can go make your combo. Super Express Bullet Train is a 10 where if all your monster you control is an Earth Machine, you can just special summon from your hand. And he can't attack unless you send two other cards you control to the graveyard, which doesn't really matter that often because you link it away and overlay with him. But the main part, uh, the main reason why you play him is that he can special himself from your, his, your hand. And during the end phase, if it's in your graveyard, uh, you can target a machine monster in your graveyard and add it to hand. So if you already have Dozer in hand, or you put two special bullet train and one Derek crate and add one of them to hand, and then you can extend after your dozer. And then yeah. the last two monsters are the Machina Fortress and Citadel. Fortress is a good card to just keep summoning over and over because it's not once per turn. And then Citadel is a really broken card where you can target one machine monster you control and destroy that monster and all monsters your opponent control with less attack than that monster or equal to. So he can target himself and destroy all monsters your opponent controls with 3,000 uh, 3, or less attack. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a quick effect, right? Yeah, it's a quick effect, so it's really nice. And then the other effect is if a face-up Earth Machine is uh, destroyed by battle card effects, and this card's in your graveyard, you can special summon them. So a lot of times my opponent try to break my board, and then they they don't expect the Citadel coming out, and then he can nuke their, their, their combo midway. Yeah, so like your guy will die, and then Citadel will special summon, and then he just blows up the field, right? Yeah. That's kind of insane, yeah. I have the Regeki and Lightning Storm just for a budget option, but if you if if you have like more Ashes or Maxi, you can include that or in Perm as well. You can include that as well. Yeah. So they we're showing you right now the the budget version, but later on we'll show you the more optimized list you should work towards. 
and then we have the machina the redeployment so you can discard one card and add two machina monsters or discard one machina and add two machina cards so you can add a metal cruncher and like a fortress so metal cruncher can start your combo by adding dozer and fortress is really good because you can just you search a lot in the combo so you can ditch him and summon him again and extend your combo and he's also a nice card on board because if someone destroys him by battle they he can pop a card that they control or if they target him then he can discard a card from their hand with a monster effect you can discard a card from their hand but usually they don't target him it's just the the battle thing you can crash in someone pop a card and then citadel comes back and and can attack as well and then we have the three heavy forward which is also the rota when it's activated you can add in furniture track so you can add either harvester or dozer uh, to combo but if you already have them you can also combo with trencher and anchor drill and a uh, tunneler because you can add them and then discard with machina fortress to uh, use their graveyard effects it also have the effect where you can target a machine xyz and change its battle position or attach it as material we have this rank nine that can detach any amount of cards to destroy that amount of uh, cards on the field so you can attach this to it and then destroy three cards on the field if you like but the other effect to change battle positions sometimes matter because the Exceed can summon themselves from the graveyard in defense, and then Heavy Forward can change to attack to uh, deal some damage. And then there's the three urgent schedule. It's a really good going second card, but sometimes you can just set it if you open like not that well, or even if you open well, you, there's a combo where you draw a lot. You just end on a in Anger Knuckle, and you set the urgent schedules so they can't really kill you, and you have a a lot of follow-up from your graveyard setup. So what does it do when you set it? So let me just read the card. So if your opponent controls more monster than you, you can summon one level four or lower and one level five or higher earth machine for your deck and defense, but their effects negated. And then you can't attack except machine type monster, but we're playing mostly all machine type monsters. If this set cards on a sense to the field to graveyard, you can add a level 10 machine from your deck to hand. So in this deck, it's the their crate, the super express bullet train and the citadel. And then your opponent can do that too, right? Like if they MST yeah. it or something? Well, if they MST it and you can't activate it, like if they have no monsters to it, then yeah, you add a uh, train to your hand basically. But uh, you can also you can also add during your turn going first uh, with a combo in this deck. So even if you open it, you can still add um, and, and still make plays. But even if you don't make plays, you can set it. And if they destroy your monsters, it's uh, like a defensive wall. And then for our traps, we play good generic traps. These uh, Torrentos are a really good card because some of your monsters can't be destroyed by card effects with uh, with our extra deck. And then and then when you destroy your monsters, you can summon Citadel from Graveyard. So it works really well in the deck. And then Dynamiscus is a good generic uh, removal. This deck draws a lot and search a lot during the combo. So you have a lot of fodder and a lot of the, your Inferno track has Graveyard effects. So it's nice to just disrupt them, and then uh, you can... Uh, it's a nice card to draw to after you do your whole combo. And then we have the three overdrive. This card, uh, you can target machine monster you control, summon a machina monster with different name than the card you target from your hand or deck. And if you do destroy the targeted monster. So this way you can target any monster, or any machine monster you can you control and summon Citadel from deck. And then that way you can, you know, re Damn. quickly regret to your opponent. That sounds crazy. Yeah. And you can search this card with a redeployment because if you discard Machina card, you can add two Machina cards from your deck with different names. So if you open uh, like a Fortress or Citadel, you can discard it. And you can, add, or if you open like Metal Cruncher and you have like Harvester combo, you can just add the uh, Overdrive and then you can summon Citadel during your opponent's turn. But not only that, it has a graveyard effect where you can banish it from the graveyard and target three machine in your banish or your graveyard and shuffle it to your deck and draw a card. Damn, so you got another Pot of Avarice type effect? Yeah, we have another Pot of Avarice, but it's nice that it can re recycle banish cards so you can recycle your Tunneler or your, or your uh, Trencher. As well as like your box and sometimes when you play against like virtual worlds, some of your stuff, your extra deck get banished, you can shuffle the, those back to your uh, extra deck as well. Yeah, that's the main deck. It's a really, uh, this is the core, the main decks. The core really only needs two URs, the rest is three like Ash Blossom, Lightning Storm, and Regeki. And if you have, you know, extra uh, hand traps, you can include those as well. But 
the core machine earth machine is only two UR, so it's a pretty nice uh a budget deck. Yeah. Well, for the main deck, the extra deck is a couple yards, but we will we'll head uh, to the extra deck now. So uh, I include these because they're all Earth Machine that you can technically make, but uh, I have there's there's uh, better options, but there's not that many Earth Machine um, budget option. But you can include these, but you can include these in your deck. The uh, heavy armor train Iron Wolf. The, the Vorjak and the Mountain Smasher. And this one is the Inferno Track River Stormer. It's part of your combo where if you summon Dozer, Dozer can summon a Trencher or a Tunneler from deck, and they're both level 5, so you can summon Stormer, River Stormer, and River Stormer can detach one to search for Earth Machine or Millet. So it's pretty nice to extend. And all the Inferno Track Exceed, if they're in the graveyard, you can tribute a Machine Link and Special Summon Defense. Oh yeah, and I if see. they destroy a monster battle, you can attach it as a, as a material. Uh, yeah, I should go over the Machine Link because this is how you start a lot of your combos. All it takes is one non-Link Inferno Track monster. And if it's sent from the field to graveyard, you can target Exceed monster you control and attach it as a material. And then if it's a machine, it cannot be destroyed by card effects. So it's nice to equip to like um, to your trains or sometimes even Zeus because Zeus is a machine. Oh, if you play yeah. Zeus. There you go. Yeah. A lot of times people don't know that. So like they, I have a river. Sometimes I end with a river stormer in defense with a Dora, and then they try to access code kill me. But then river stormer can't be destroyed by card effect because of Goliath. Oh and yes. Dora just protects itself, so like, they can't really OTK me. Yeah. So it just gives it the effect, right? The XC is the yeah. that effect. I see. I see. If if this is attached underneath a machine XC, then it can't be destroyed by card effect. Yeah. Right. And then we have the Earth Slicer, where it also has the effect where it destroys a monster battle. You can attach it, and if it's in the graveyard, you can tribute a machine link and summon it. The main thing is that you can detach any amount of material from this card and target that many cards and field destroy them. So like you can usually use two level nine with either Harvester and Fortress or Trencher and any of your level 5 that makes level rank 9 and then you can attach stuff like Heavy Forward to them as material or your Goliath as material and you pop 3 or 4 cards on your opponent's field and then break their board and attack with all these big trains and then we have the train package these are just good rank 10s I would recommend playing just because they just end games on themselves so I recommend getting these uh, you are they're all from the same pack so you can probably try to get them building the stack but it's heavy super well it's a Gustav Max I don't want to say the full name <laughs> Gustav Max Dora and Libe this one can detach one to burn 2k this one is a quick effect where you can detach one target one monster field and it's unaffected by card effects and then this one you can rank it up on one of the other two you can detach one material it gains 200 attack and it can make battles uh, up to the number of materials plus one so usually he'll have one material he can attack twice with 6k to monsters but he's the only one that can attack that turn. So if they have an open board, you can summon Gustav Max, do 2,000, and then make the leave and just kill him with yeah. 6k attack, right? Yeah. So a lot of times uh, you can just uh, Earth Slicer nuke their board, and then Gustav Max burn them for 2k, and then they'll have 6k. So then you overlay Liebe on top and just swing directly for 6k. Sometimes we have uh, Ancient Gear Ballista, which can change your opponent's mom attack and defense to zero. You can swing twice to two monsters, and one of them has zero attacking defense, and usually that can kill uh, them as well. Uh, I play Cliff for a genius. He's there because he's unaffected by stolen traps and other link monsters. So sometimes they don't know that they. I just summon him on field, and like Sky Strikers, they can't, like Widow Anchor, they can't afterburn him. And the only way to get rid of genius is like they have to swing over it. And he can target face two face of cards from. Well, one phase card for each field and negate them. So it's nice to negate, like, continuous, like, spell and trap and stuff so, like that. So, since he's play. unaffected by traps, would Skill Drain be able to affect him? And would he be able to negate Skill Drain? Or how would that work? Yeah, yeah. He's unaffected by Skill Drain, so, and so he can negate Skill Drain. Oh, that's pretty cool, so that's actually. nice. But he's also unaffected by stuff like, you know, your Torrential Tribute or oh, your uh, Overdrive. So you can target Genius, and he doesn't get destroyed by Overdrive. Also... Um, when Goliath is underneath stuff, they can't be sure with card effect. So you can Torrential and your Xyz don't die, or you can Overdrive and your Xyz don't die. 
So it's pretty nice that way too. And then we have the double headed anger knuckle. He's like the one of the best link for uh, Earth Machine because he lets you extend your combo and he makes very defensive plays um, during your opponent's turn. Can't be used as link material, but uh, during the main phase, he can send one monsters on field or graveyard to to special summon at level 10 from graveyard. So you can summon your uh, your citadel. Well, it summons level 10, but the specs negated. So you can summon your your bullet train during your opponent's turn, and then to, as defensive, and then if he doesn't kill, you can add one from hand, or you can just extend with two rank 10s and make a rank 10 play. And if he's in your graveyard, you can send one card from your hand or field to graveyard special on this card. So Anger Knuckle, if you go first, you can set your urgent schedule, and then you can send it to graveyard to search a level 10 machine for your deck to hand. So even if you, you go first, urgent schedule isn't dead. And then the last I monster see. we have is yep. Ballista. You can add a Ancient Gear monster or Gear Town from your deck to hand. The only one we play is a Box. Box is when he's added, you can add a Machine Type monster with 500 attack or defense. So when you add it with a Ballista, you can add Anchor Drill, Trencher, Tunneler, and you can extend that way. Also, if you add it off of Bullet Train during end phase, you can also activate Box effects. And yeah, and he can target a spell trap you control and then one monster your opponent control and change the attack and defense to zero. So sometimes you have like heavy forwards, extra heavy forwards on the field because it's continuous or your urgent schedule or just a trap that you just want to, or if you just want to kill your opponent, you can make them zero. Like, uh, like yeah, with the leave. Leave and yeah, stuff. I see. yeah, it's really nice to change stuff to zero. That's the budget version. So could we just take a quick look at the, uh, the optimized version yeah so the main difference is, is i took it's no regeki and lightning storm but a lot of uh hand trap like maxi ash and infirm and then call by the grave and then for the extra deck you just have the it looks like the dingirsu the vfd and uh, and, zeus. Uh, zeus yeah so just yes. because you can manipulate the levels so you can easily make rank eights rank nines and you could even make a turn one zeus which is pretty pretty good yeah so for Zeus, if you have a Harvester plus one of the tens, you can normal summon Harvester and summon the ten. And if they like hand trap you or, or if they like Ash or Harvester, you can't get Dozer. Then you can you can make Zeus by summoning the ten and changing their both their level to twelve. And since Zeus material is two level twelve, you can hard make Zeus with a uh, two materials. But sometimes you can even add a Goliath and Heavy forward into Zeus and make him four material turn one if you opened up that well. Damn, that sounds insane. Yeah, but you have to be careful because he's not an Earth Machine. Uh, those are lock you into Earth Machine, so you have to play around with that. I see. Yeah, he does. Uh, he is with, a light. Yeah. Yeah. Same with VFD. Uh, if you open like Machina Fortress with. Mm. With Harvester, you can you can change them both to nine and make VFD turn one, and sometimes they just scoop seeing VFD. All right, well, Doom, thank you so much for explaining the deck. Uh, I can't wait to see these replays. I'm sure you're about to just clap everybody up with your Earth Machine deck. All right, guys, we'll talk to you next time. Peace out.